Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing the second product from Singer Watches, a joint venture between designer Marco Borcino and Singer reimagined Porsche modifier Rob Dickinson. This is a 10-piece limited edition from 2021, and the model is the Singer Flytrack. This is the pulsometer dial. They were also made with telemeter and tachymeter scales. This one is designed to gauge the pulse of a patient. So the watch is grade five titanium, which is hypoallergenic and both more scratch resistant and lighter than stainless steel. The timepiece is 43 millimeters in diameter, 15.1 millimeters thick, 48.9 millimeters from lug to lug, and has a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now, because it is awfully large, it, it is considerable in its size. I would say it wears like a 44 or 45 millimeter round watch, which means you're gonna want a wrist of 15 centimeters circumference or larger to wear this. It's not heavy, but it is large. And you can see that it'll fit underneath a jacket cuff, but maybe not the tightest of dress sleeves. Taking a quick look at the strap, you can see it's calfskin, honey brown. It has a contrasting orange stitch that matches some of the details of the dial. There's some bolstering to add thickness. There's a folded edge. You can see black calfskin on the bottom. It is a brand new Singer factory strap. Singer logo several times on the strap, on the ratchet wheel of the watch. You could see on the crown that's used for winding and setting. And then we have the script logo, which is on the buckle as well as the dial. Taking a quick look at the case, you can see it's a combination of darkened and media blasted. And then we have some polished highlights, and you can see the bezel, which is domed, is all of polish. The two crowns perform two different functions. This one's used for winding and setting. This one is used for the flyback chronograph function, and we do have a pulsometer scale. So the way this works is that you put your finger on a patient's pulse, and then you fly back and you start. You count to 15 pulses, and if, for example, you count 15 as the hand passes 125. That means the pulse rate is 125 beats per minute. The dial's a little bit unconventional, so let's first demonstrate how time is told and then talk a little bit about the chronograph. So there is a ceramic disc outboard that indicates the hour, and then there is a hand at center that indicates the minute. So right now you're looking at 1145, and now you're looking at 12, and that's how you tell the time. We'll do a quick loom shot here, and you can see that the watch has relatively spare loom. There's the minute hand, there's the hour index, and then precious little else. The hour ring is made of black ceramic. You can see that the center dial features a chapter ring that acts as a scale against which you can read minutes and seconds. It's polished on its outermost face, and then has a concentric satin brushing across its dished interface. The dial center is a sort of tobacco brown. That's how Singer describes it. And you can see that there's a little conical cap atop the hands, as you would have found on the dashboard instruments of performance cars in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Now, flipping it all over, we can see a variation on the Agengraf. This movement, the 6364, is a manual wind variant of the Agengraf, which helps to thin things out a little bit. So it has a 55-hour manual wind power reserve. It is a 39-joule movement adjusted in six positions, not the chronometer standard of five. So chronometry is the point here. It's free sprung with a full balance bridge, and it features a column wheel action for crisp feel and a sharp report when you operate the chronograph. And that has what's called the Ajin clutch, which is a combination of the best features of a traditional and aesthetically pleasing lateral clutch with the seamless operation of a vertical clutch. And Jean-Marc Viderecht of Agenhor, which makes this movement, he has said that the movement which is made in Geneva, meets the standards for the Poisson de Genève Geneva Hallmark stamp. It just hasn't gone through the certification process. Agenor has built high horology movements and complications for many, from Panerai to MBNF to Harry Winston itself in the Opus series. That is where this movement comes from. It beats way at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and it sits in a case that is 100 meters water resistant, so you have a great deal of security if you do want to take the watch swimming. Just remember to put it on a different strap if you do. And again, manual wind, 55-hour power reserve, aesthetically pleasing, traditional mechanical horology. In a very forward-looking watch, 
that pays deference with reference to the great chronographs of the 1970s. Reach out to Tim also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.